Two years to election 2024, the Electoral Commission of Ghana is preparing to embark on a continuous registration exercise for prospective voters. To do this, the Commission has announced a proposal to remove the Garanta system, which had had to allow a registered voter to vouch for the eligibility of two more people to get registered. The EC is about to lay before Parliament a constitutional instrument that will empower the Commission to admit the Ghana card as the sole identification document for the registration exercise. According to the EC, the Ghana card is the most authentic means of identifying Ghanaians and therefore the Commission's decision to use it in the exercise. Speaking on City TV's point of view, Director of Electoral Services Dr. Seribo Kwaku explains that the Commission is firmly convinced that the use of the Ghana card will eliminate the tensions that have previously characterized voter registration exercises. So whenever we do registration, the tension that comes up as a result of establishing the identity of the applicants with respect to their citizenship and their age. So the commission, as usual, did our review of the elections and the activities for the 2020. Then we decided, as part of recommendation from the various stakeholders, to roll out the continuous registration so that we will no more be setting aside some few days to do registration. And in order not to transfer the conflicts from the registration centers to our district office case, then the commission decided that why don't you come out with the most credible way of identifying Ghanaians, which is the Ghana card, so that we're able to reduce the possibility of non ghanians and and the age people registered. So that is what the new CI is seeking to cure. The National Democratic Congress has expressed vehement opposition to this move. The party says it is worried for the about 2 million Ghanaians who are yet to acquire the Ghana card and who may eventually get disenfranchised. General Secretary for the NDC, Johnson Esiedun Ketia, made these comments on City TV's point of view. Nobody is saying that the use of Ghana card for purposes of uh, registration and the others that have been stated, it's a bad thing. Mm. But the law is very clear that the Ghana card issued to an individual then becomes the means of identification for the purposes of registration. Mm. What about if it has not been issued? Mm. Does that individual have to suffer? because he doesn't issue the card to himself. Mm. It is somebody's responsibility to issue a card to him. And they are saying that once the card is issued to you, it then becomes the means of identification mm. for all these things. The, 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 the problem we are faced with is that you want the individual who should be a beneficiary of the issuance mm -hmm but who has so far been denied the issuance. You want that person to suffer. The seeming standoff between the EC and the NDC is one that has been for some time now. The EC for years has suffered to gain the trust of opposition parties. But Dr. Ransford Jampo of the University of Ghana says the commission must dialogue with the opposition and build trust. The opposition political party, the main opposition political party, the NDC, has um, its problems with the process. And we don't have to also say that the issues they are raising are not legitimate. They, are, they also have legitimate concerns that they are raising. The challenge now is how the Electoral Commission will be able to sit down with the opposition to iron out you know, such differences. And so my point is that um, what the Electoral Commission is, wants to do is good. But the opposition um, also has a certain mistrust, um, you know, against what the Electoral Commission wants to do. So how do we iron out that mistrust to ensure that the Electoral Commission is able to bring all on board? The Electoral Commission cannot proceed successfully with this process without the, largest op the participation of the largest opposition party. And so I would appeal to the Electoral Commission um, to reach out, okay, um, to the NDC, and to speak to their leaders and to explain some of these things to them and then also be prepared to listen to the complaints and concerns of the of the ndc 
um, such that they will be able to factor their suggestions, complaints and concerns, whatever they want to do. So that at the end of the day, I think even the NDC believes that we all need a single identification. So we cannot go that route or have that as our objective and then be entertaining other parallel forms of identification. It doesn't help.